was there for uh, two months uh, this summer. I uh, came back in, in uh, middle of July, I guess it was. The man was with me the last two weeks, which was a, a real blessing. And, and uh, we, we've had a, a, just a good time. The ministry is growing. I'm, you know, remember in the early days when we talked about Zambia and, and how, you know, we had 35 hubs and, and uh, these men were training other men and we were planning churches and reaching out. I showed a map this morning in Sunday school where, and I didn't have a chance to really explain that map, but we're, the, the ministry is truly spread all over Zambia. There's about four places that we're not in yet as far as uh, uh, territories that we're not in or areas of, the, of Zambia we're not working in. Uh, but the ministry is just growing. It, it's, it's way beyond our control. Uh, it's, it's the Lord's work. And uh, we have the privilege of, uh, my privilege is to re represent them to you. Your privilege, our privilege together is to help them. And uh, that's what we do. Hope Builders Ministry helps and works with indigenous ministries in Africa to spread the gospel through, specifically with this mindset, to make disciples, to plant churches, to train pastors. That's our focus. That's what we do. We're, you know, there's a lot of ministries. There's a lot of things going on in Africa, around the world, through missions. You know, from from wells to orphanages to uh, you know, clothing to all kinds of things. But our ministry is strictly focused on training pastors to plant churches, who in turn will turn around and plant other churches and train other pastors. That's our focus. We do have mission, we have ministry with, with orphans. It comes out of the fact that if you're going to work in a church in Zambia, you're going to have, you're going to have children, you're going to have widows that, that need your attention. And so uh, we're trying to help them with that as well. Uh, but our primary focus is to train pastors in the Word of God so that they can be good preachers of the Word of God and the church in Zambia can grow accordingly. Um, you know, we, we make a mistake when we think that church is growing because there's a lot of people and there's maybe some excitement and there's, there's, a, there's a figure, a person, a personality that everybody's just all excited about and you get these big crowds. That's not church growth. Church growth is when, when the people of God are hearing the Word of God and doing it. That's what church growth is about. And that's what we focus on. And uh, I just want to say thank you again for being uh, a part of Lou and my life and, and to enable us to do what we do in representing you. Never forget that. We're your ambassadors. And I not only represent you to them, but them to you, our brothers and sisters in Zambia. And 